Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I hope you're off to an awesome start today. It's so wonderful to lay eyes on you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. And today, I was making my way up to the treehouse. In fact, these are the steps up to the treehouse. And then I, I was met with this beautiful energy. It was around this quote that I had read literally 35 years ago. I was in my early 20s. And I was in a space where I was really trying to figure out whether or not the life that I was leading at that time was truly reflecting what I knew in my heart was gonna require a level of bravery and courage that I had never lived with before. But I also knew if I didn't do it, if I didn't start doing this deeper work, my life, my life was not gonna be anything reflecting what was in my heart. The quote was by Krishnamurti, who was this wonderful spiritual teacher that I got my hands on, some of his works way back in my teens, and I, I dabbled with it, and it made me feel good every now and then, but I didn't commit to it. And then I started reading it religiously. In one of his quotes, which was absolutely one of the most beautiful things, that literally was like, okay, wake up, James, wake up. Wake the heck up. <laughs> I was going to drop another word, but that'll suffice. The quote was, It is no mark of health and well-being to give yourself permission to align with a profoundly sick society. It is no measure of health and well-being to align with a profoundly sick society, to accept what's normal around you and just allow it to be and see it as normal. See it as okay and allow yourself to acquiesce to it. Think about that. Think about that as you go out in the world today and you say to yourself, you know, I'm just going to allow some of the stuff that's, that's dark and mean and divisive. The stuff that I know hurts my heart, but I just kind of, you just, I just kind of allow it. Or are you and I today going to be extraordinarily brave? Are we going to use our spiritual courage and, and wake up to something where we go, oh my gosh, intolerable, unacceptable. So I'm going to be that much more committed to that love that I want to bring in the world. I'm going to be that much more committed to the kind of extraordinary experience I'm willing to let my spiritual power bring in the world. And that spiritual power is simply my self-love and my self-care and my self-compassion and my self-awareness. These are my practices of social activism. When I bring these in the world, when I give myself permission to do this inside work, I know it broadcasts power to the outside world. It becomes a contagious force or that normalization of divisiveness and darkness and hate and separation becomes questioned. We question it through our actions. We don't have to question their people and belittle them or make them feel diminished. All we need to do is love ourselves in such a way that they begin to say, oh my goodness. So that's what love can look like. I believe so much separation is happening because we're separate from our hearts. We're separate from spirit. We're separate from our soul's knowing. And when we feel that separation, that separation goes out in the world and we separate from other human beings. And if we can be a demonstration of that oneness here, that oneness goes out there. And that oneness becomes a force that can change the world. Our great work can be the great work of loving and accepting ourselves at such a deep level that that energy becomes a beacon of hope, a beacon of possibility that literally emanates out in the world. In your, in your beautiful demonstration, of not allowing yourself to align with what is profoundly sick outside because you've healed what's inside. And then we begin to heal what's all around us. Whew. The great work of our life. Is there anything better than that? To love yourself so deeply, to be so connected with your heart's knowing, to be so at one with spiritual energy, power, and light that it literally becomes an unfair advantage over the normalization of the separation that we're seeing all around us. And oneness is revealed once again in us, as us, and mostly all around us. Much love, many blessings on your journey. Be courageous, be brave. It's who you are. It's who you came here to be. Much love. Bye for now.